It's amazing that that record even got made. To go from where we saw ourselves many times before we even, you know, before we released that record. Chester I mean, came out to LA just like having started in the band and he was like kind of living out of his car and deciding, do I want to be in this band? Do they want me in this band? Like, how does it work? Before we'd started working together, Chester had never really screamed on a song. You weren't, he sang. He didn't like do what he ended up doing on Hybrid Theory. We discovered that together, you know? I came in being used, used to being the only singer, to coming in and being one of two vocalists that are coming from completely different areas, but also having to like figure out how to sing within the songs to make the songs the best. And then it we was, got in the studio in the and studio. like the people were like, that we were working with were saying, you know, we want to we want you to change this and change that. And this guy has this gimmick where he wears a red hat and you guys need a gimmick. For us, we were just like, come on, man. Like what we're doing, there's a very specific lane that we're trying to go down. Like we're, we have a very specific idea for what this is. And it incorporates these different genres of music. I grew up in hip hop. I, I know hip hop like the back of my hand. It is what I like live and die by. And I want to put this very specific like type of hip hop in the music. And I know these people don't get it, but, but somebody out there is gonna hear this and get it. That it's really, you know, the, the choices that we're making are what makes this album what yeah. it is. The fact that Hybrid Theory, one that we got signed, we even made the record, that we even got it out. Like, we had to fight for that thing, man. Like it was like, it got ugly at some <laughs> points. And it was just like, this is what this is gonna be like? <laughs> Fuck this, man. <laughs> It was like, at one point, I think we were all just kind of like, I hope they fucking drop us. But then we can just continue to be ourselves and not have these idiots fucking telling us to kick a shoe off and have- That was one of the gimmicks that they suggest. Beakers. Like just every every show, like you could kick shoes off kick and that could be your off, thing. That's like your thing. Or like, we could put Joe in a fucking chemistry set with beakers and it was like- He could be the, the- I'm just like, I'm, the I'm sitting there looking at these people going, <laughs> when are you going to shut the fuck up and leave? <laughs> Like, are you seriously? Like, what do you do? Where did you come from? And why do you think you can come into our band and tell us what we're making? We make the record. I fucking care how many albums you watched somebody else make. This is Chester's this inner 16-year-old inner no, popping this is, out. This is the thing. When we made Hybrid Theory, it was like, we don't care. Uh, uh, we are making the music, and we don't care about what you've observed somebody else do in your career. You didn't make anything. Why are you in here telling us how to make something? We came out with the record. It was the biggest record we'll probably ever have, okay, in terms of its sales. That's great. That's hard to follow up. Like, we knew automatically, like, every record after that's not gonna sell 20 million or something records. Like, so it took a lot of pressure off of us. And that record means a lot. It means a lot to us, it means a lot to, it, it's it's allowed us to really know that we can stay true to who we are, we can fight for what we want, and we can we can, we can take chances that we want to take. So it's, it's it, it was a very important record for us. It set the bar for us. They're a reflection of where we are creatively, and it's the best thing that we could do with our talents at the time. That's what we always had to do. We had to set that bar high, and we learned a lot from making that record, for sure.